Now, South Korea and the United States continue to lay the groundwork for the THAAD missile defense system. China is getting more creative with its unofficial economic retaliation against the South and the country's retail giant, Lotte Group. EG1 has more. China's apparent retaliation against South Korea's deployment of the THAAD missile defense system is escalating by the day. On Tuesday, after Seoul and Washington announced they had begun deployment of the THAAD battery, Korea's largest Twitter matching website was attacked by a distributed denial-of-service attack, which freezes the site by creating overwhelming traffic. The site also displayed the logo of the Panda Intelligence Bureau, a group of Chinese hackers, and showed vulgar language against the THAAD battery. The group and other Chinese hackers have been attacking Korean websites since late last month, including that of Lotte Duty Free, whose website was frozen for three hours on Thursday. In response, the Korea Internet and Security Agency has tightened its monitoring of known Chinese hacking groups and increased their workforce by tenfold. Meanwhile, Chinese news outlets have been accused of publishing fake news. Photos and videos of Korean people protesting against President Park Geun-hye's impeachment have emerged. In the images, protesters are seen holding the American flag as a way to imply that Koreans are protesting against China. A recent story run by China's state-run Global Times Daily carried what it said was an interview with Lotte Group Chair Shin Dongbin. In it, Shin reportedly says the Chinese are profiteers and will buy Lotte products again when prices are lowered. Lotte Group made a statement in which it said that the interview was a fabrication and what the newspaper did was absurd because it hadn't had an interview with a Chinese media outlet. However, the story has been circulating on Chinese social media sites and reports say that many still believe the story is true. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.